Carrying home from Earth to space. This is how Yang Hong described his job. From the spacecraft Shenzhou 1 to Shenzhou 5, Yang has witnessed the country's milestones in manned space missions. And his efforts have paid off. Receiving the Guanghua Engineering Science and Technology Award is not only my personal honor, but also a reward and encouragement for all the members of China's manned space programs. Yang has a dynamic team with an average age of only 34 years old. He believes that everyone plays an important role in the smooth running of the space programs. China has a three-step strategy for the programs, with the last step being building a space lab around 2022. The country started the construction of the space lab from scratch. And as the chief architect of this system, Yang has shouldered heavy responsibilities. We will develop and send one core module and two experiment modules to space. Together, they will form a T-shaped structure, which weighs nearly 100 tons. When the space lab is put into operation, we will conduct scientific experiments to serve the country's strategic development. In 1995, China was left out of the International Space Station project, which included 16 countries. And now the country has developed the research technology for its whole space station system. With the International Space Station set to retire in 2024, China will possibly be the only country with a permanent space station by then. Wang Qiwei, CGTN.